just make you want to get married. I'm Rachel Franklin and I'm a concert pianist and a speaker and a teacher and I like to make videos about my life's great obsession, classical music. And this is Joy Leilani. She's a fabulous professional organist and she has graciously consented to be in my current movie. Joy, what were you playing just then? I was playing Paco Bell's Canon. So you were. It's such a funny name. Paco Bell, Paco Bell. You know, I asked a bunch of children what they thought a Paco Bell was and they said they thought it was a rock or a donut store or a certain particular chain of burrito joints. Actually, folks, it's a person. Johann Packelbell, a German composer. Now, about that cannon. Joy! Is this what you meant? This cannon? No, this cannon is actually only spelled with one N, and it's a very clever musical game that has parts going round and round after each other. I see. Ingenious. It's lovely music. Joy, why do people always ask for this particularly perfect piece of Packlebell when they want to make that stroll up the aisle? Well, it's a very peaceful and graceful atmospheric piece. I think it helps to calm down the nervous bride, and it's also great for the organist because if anyone's late for the ceremony, because the music goes around and around, I can just keep playing. That makes a lot of sense. Well, I love to find out about the real human being behind the music. So let me tell you about Johann Packelbell. He was born in Nuremberg, southern Germany, in 1653. That seems a long time ago and perhaps hard to connect with. So what was happening over here in the great continent of America in 1653? Well, it was pretty quiet, just a scattering of colonists and colonies. But across the pond in Europe, things were hopping. In France, Louis XIV was monarch. L'état, c'est moi, it's me. While they were in England, they'd taken a slightly different tack and had just chopped off the head of King Charles I, something they came to regret later on. Back in Nuremberg, young Packelbell grew up in a thriving Bavarian cultural community, and his exceptional talents were nurtured by many respected regional teachers. He became a career organist in his teens and spent the rest of his extremely busy life playing, composing, teaching, performing, creating, and always pursuing that great mythical carrot, the perfect job. It's no different from how musicians live now, is it, Joy? Yeah. An interesting aside, Packelbell was great friends with the Bach family and taught Johann Christoph Bach, eldest brother to the mighty Johann Sebastian Bach. It was a small world, and who you knew really counted. Packelbell wrote enormous amounts of music. That was what he got paid for, and his work was really popular during his lifetime. But afterwards, as Baroque music gave way to classical and romantic styles, his music wasn't heard much. Nowadays, Packelbell is back on the early music concert circuit. But we, the music-loving public, generally know him for just one piece, that very famous can. Sometimes the best-known pieces of music are actually the least understood. Joy, I think it's time to show everyone how this beautiful classic actually works. Let us reveal to you the intricate delights of Packlebell's celebration. 